Hola, Mexico. I'm Michael B. Jordan, and I have some shocking news that will knock you out. I'm coming to Mexico City for my new movie, Creed 3. See you soon, Mexico. What you gonna do, getting to take my breath? Adonis Creed. You don't remember me, huh? What happened with you two? We was like brothers. I got some unfinished business. Gotta be talking about Dane. I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Let go of whatever was and walk into what is. Creed 3. Rated PG-13. Only in theaters March 3rd. How are you feeling about this compared to Creed 1 and 2? Uh, I feel great about it, man. Honestly, it was the biggest challenge uh, so far, you know, um, of my career to kind of be able to be in front of the camera and behind the camera. I think we evolved the story a lot. Um, you know, the first two films, having Adonis Creed really starting his family and becoming his own man, becoming his own champion. Uh, I think in this film, we elevated things uh, from the boxing to the the family drama, uh, you know, really facing your past. So for me, I, I, I can't wait for people to see it because I feel like uh, it definitely took the franchise to the next level. I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. You don't remember me, huh? Amy. We was like brothers. I know I've been away a long time, but I still got gas in the tank. Come by the gym. I was the best. But I never got a chance to prove that. Hey, hey! I vouch for you. Try spending half your life in a cell. Why did somebody else live your life? You threatening me? I'm coming for everything. Maybe you just have to find him. I've seen, you know, the Rockies, I've seen the Creeds, mm -hmm. but what was it, this thing was like, it's insane, you actually see skin flapping and <laughs> blah, I go, ah, how did you change the game again? We were just, you know, I think I got, it was a gift and a curse, you know, there's been, you know, eight other movies before me, you know, and we've shot, you can sh shoot a boxing match so many different ways. I think, cause I was kind of put in a corner. It kind of forced me to be more creative and really find, like, think outside the box of how to make the fights different. Yeah. So we shot all the fights in IMAX. And also, I, I had a huge Japanese Japanese anime influence on a lot of my fighters. I'm an anime nerd. So I found, I found, I found unique ways to kind of, to, to exactly. And then, wow, yeah. and then, dude, it was the like. thing and a thing. And yeah. then, okay, all right. I watched as a fan. I'm just enjoying. You put the work in, man. I was yes, like, sir. wow, it was great.